Hi everyone and welcome back to another part of Dreamfall, the longest journey. So we are going to go ahead and exit the factory now. Um, yeah. So that was kind of the last part, kind of explained where the little girl was at least. Um, yeah. Okay, let's... That panel controls the loading bay doors. We use this. Right, let's let's go. All right, and we're out. Okay, and I think how did we get up here? Yeah, just I should be able to climb up there now. What? No, I wanna I wanna climb down. I should be able to climb up there now. No, I I wanna leave. Okay. I should be able oh to my climb god, up there Zoe. Now. Okay. Um. Alright, let's just go down then. See if we can get out of the main gate. Yeah, we should be able to just use the card then. And get the taxi, I guess. Okay, doc. Off we go. And we're back. Um, home, I guess. Um, yeah. I guess what we might do then is, um, okay, so let's go ahead and see, I don't know. I don't really know. Hmm. I mean, maybe we shouldn't have ran so far ahead. Whatever. Let's go see. Um, let's go see if Liv's store's open. Liv's closed up the store. Alright, well, what we'll do is we'll actually head on back. And go to Reza's apartment, I guess. Um, where was Reza's apartment again? I'm always getting confused here. Always. Right, let's go. It's up here, right? Okay. Okay, and um, we'll go see Reza's apartment, which I'm going the wrong way. Reza's not home. Okay, well, let's go back this way, I guess. Maybe go... Back to where the taxi was, maybe we ran past somebody, I don't know, that we had to talk to. I feel like there is somebody that we are meant to talk to. Maybe at the Mocha Loka or something? Zoe? Where have you been? I've been... travelling. Why, what's up? There have been people asking for you. Syndicate people. Eyes. Oh. Yeah, long story. Look, I'm not gonna pry or anything, but they seemed pretty serious. Is everything okay? Yes, sort of. Nothing to worry about, Karen. Thanks. Okay. Can I get you a latte on the house? Rain check. I'm just not in the mood for coffee right now. You got it. Alright, well, let's go ahead and head on home. Alright. That's not too far to get home, I guess. Should probably phone our father. <laughs> um, he's probably worried about us. I would think. I would hope that he at least cared to be worried, right? Um. Oh, 
Okay. Dad? My God, Zoe. You have not been an easy person to get a hold of. Where have you been? Home. Casablanca. Around. Sorry, I, I didn't think you'd be so worried. Worried? Well, that's an understatement. You don't have to lie anymore. I know you haven't been home. What do you mean? Of course I've been. After our last conversation, I logged into the house and spoke with Wonkers. He told me you haven't been home for at least a week. Dad... What I don't get is why you had to lie to me. Dad, it's a long story. I had to go away for a little while. So where have you been? I'm not doing this over the phone. I'm home again now. Ask Wonkers if you want to. Hell, check the cameras if you don't believe me. I don't know what to believe. Was it Reza? Yes. No. I had to help him. But that wasn't the only thing that... I don't think we should talk about this over the phone. When are you coming back? I'm still stuck out here. Another couple of days at the very least. Look, I'm sorry for lying to you. But I have my reasons. I didn't want you to worry. Well, that backfired. I know. But you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm back and I'm staying put. I'll tell you everything when you get home, okay? Okay. I'll try to speed things up at my end, but... It... No. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just come home when you can. <sighs> All right. Take care, Zoe. I'll call you tomorrow. And try to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Bye, Dad. Hello, Zoe. What? What are you doing here? How did you get in? I came to talk to you. You've been on a very long journey. I'm glad you finally made it back. How did... You. I've traveled around the world, but it all comes back to you. Faith, she was your experiment. Jeeva's experiment. She is. I mean, she was. But we weren't the ones who made her into what she is today. That was Watikorp. That was Pete's. I wanted Faith to live out her life in peace with a foster family. She didn't have long. And she'd been through enough already. But Watikorp had other plans. They needed a suitable human subject for testing their drug Morpheus with Dreamnet. So they took Faith away. I know. They put her through hell. I never wanted that. You don't get to make excuses. She was your creation. She was your responsibility. Fair enough. Looking back, I realize it was a mistake to let them take her. But Wadi Corp owns us. We don't get to have a say. You're not telling me anything I don't know. Why are you here? Did you bring the eye with you? The twins? Go ahead, do your worst. I'm too tired to care anymore. I'm here to ask for your help. My... help? What do you mean? I want to stop Watikorp from releasing the Dreamer, and I want to stop the static from spreading any further. You may consider me cruel and uncaring, but I'm simply pragmatic. There's nothing to be gained from Wadi succeeding with their plans, or the static causing another collapse. 
And I also have personal reasons for wanting to stop Pete's. He has already caused much pain, and he will cause untold damage if his plans are carried out. What makes you think I'll help you with anything? I'm not expecting you to help me, but you will help Faith. You won't let her suffer anymore. And you will stop Watticorp, even if they hadn't killed your friend. How do you know all this? I planted a bug on you when we first met, Zoe. It's been sending me data at regular intervals. I've heard everything you've said. I know everything that's happened. I've helped you along the way, and now you will help me, because that's the only way you can help Faith. The only way you can avenge Reza and stop Watticorp. It's as simple as that. How can I help Faith? She's already dead, isn't she? Yes, and no. I can't explain it, but you've seen it for yourself, Zoe. She's in the networks, in Dreamnet, on the wire. Whether it's her, her memories, her soul, I don't know. It's not for me to theorize. The fact is that a part of her is inside the networks, inside Dream Core, and she's suffering. But you can help her, Zoe. If I do this, I won't stop with Watty or with Pete. You need to be held accountable, too. I'm a marked woman. The moment the eye finds me, I'm dead. Wadi doesn't want me walking around, telling people what I know. If that's not accountability, I don't know what is. And right now, all I want is revenge for what they've done to me and my company. If it means losing everything, so be it. So what is it you want me to do? You need to go into Dreamnet and convince Faith to let go. Once that happens, the network will shut down. And Angana, Dreamcore, will disconnect from the wire. Convince Faith to... How do I do that? And why me? Because you have a connection with her. I don't know what it is. You seem to share some of her more esoteric, genetic qualities. And she's taken a shine to you. Besides, no one else has been able to find out where in the network Faith or her residue... Her memories reside. I've tried. But it's like she's not actually in there. You, on the other hand, have met her. Several times. She's reaching out to you. She needs you. And to help her, you must first help me. How? I've brought a dreamer. You go inside. Talk to Faith. Find a way to make her let go. Whatever she's become, a, a virus, a ghost in the machine, only she can stop this. If she keeps holding on, if her influence keeps spreading across the wire, it will eventually shut down completely. We're talking days. Maybe less than that. If she can do that, what is she? I don't know. Like I said, a ghost in the machine. Her body is gone, but her mind... They pumped her full of Morpheus. They murdered her with an overdose. Who knows? Maybe there is something as banal as an immortal soul. And that's what's left of her. She died while she was inside Dreamnet, dreaming a very, very powerful dream. Maybe she's still in that dream, and that's what's spreading across the wire. Whatever the answer, it doesn't matter. The fact is that Faith is in there somehow, inside Dreamnet, inside Angana. And she needs to leave. You're saying she needs to die? She's already dead, Zoe. That's a fact. Whatever's left of her isn't happy in there. She needs to... shut down. Move on, whatever you want to call it. And you expect me to ask her to let go? To die? Yes, because it's the right thing to do. Listen to me. We're running out of time. I need you to make a choice. Either you do this, or I leave, and you never see me again. If that happens, the wire will break down, causing untold damage. Watty Corp may still succeed in releasing the Dreamer, and Pete's plans could still come to fruition. Who is the greater evil here? Him, or me? I think you're despicable. You used an innocent person as a test subject. You made her, and then you discarded her. And for what? 
to research dreams. Still, I won't let the bad guys win. I've come this far, and I'm going all the way. Someone told me not long ago that I lack commitment. Well, connect me to the dreamer. All right. So we are going. I'm going to give you a highly concentrated dose of Morpheus, more than what you've received before. It won't harm you, but it will allow you to control your environment. That way, Faith won't be able to push you out again. What do I tell her? How do I make her let go? I don't know. You have to figure that out on your own. This is unknown territory. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. And good night, Zoe. I don't have one for him, but it's right in the middle of that scene. Sorry. It feels different this time. Faith wants me to come inside. All right, so let's run up to the house then. See if we could actually get into the house this time, unlike all the times before. I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end of the game now though. Okay, so we'll go up there and see her. Looks like there's a few steps missing. Hello? Hi. You must be Faith. I'm Zoe. I know. What are you doing? Playing. I see. What are you playing? A game. Really? Can I play too? Maybe. Okay. You've been helping me, haven't you, Faith? The white lady told me to. Oh. What did the white lady say? She said to talk to you. Did she tell you that I had to save April Ryan? Yes. What does the white lady look like? She's all white. When did you last see her? She was here. Just before you. She was? Yes. What did she say? She said it's all fine. She said you did good. She said you saved April. That's what she said? That I saved April? Yes. You know I've been looking for you, don't you? Yes. Why me? Why did you talk to me, Faith? Because you're like me. Like you? How? You dream like me. You mean, dream things true? Yes. You're my sister. I'm... what? Your sister? Yes. You're my big sister. You mean because of the way we dream? No, because we're sisters. For real. Faith, this is very important. What makes you think we're sisters? I just know. And the white lady says so too. We have the same mother. We do. Faith, I'm sorry, but that's not possible. My mother died long before you were born. Mm-mm. No. Our mother isn't dead. And we are sisters. That's... 
That's impossible. It's true. I know. I'm not lying. I believe you, Faith, okay? I, I do believe you. It's just... I thought my mother was dead. Do you remember your mother? No, I don't know. And I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about something else. Faith, why are you here? Because I don't have anywhere else to go. You can't stay here. You're hurting the world. I know, that's what the white lady said. But I don't know where to go. And... and... and I'm scared, Zoe. I know. I would be too. But sometimes, we have to let go. Sometimes, we just have to trust that things will be okay. Sometimes, we just have to have... Faith, you're not supposed to be here anymore. You're supposed to be... to be gone. I'm supposed to be dead. No, you're not supp... Yes. Yes, Faith. You're supposed to be dead. I know, but I don't want to go. I'll be alone. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't promise you anything. But I believe there's something better waiting for you. I have faith. And I can promise you that I'll stay here as long as you need me to. You'll stay with me? I will. You won't have to be alone anymore. Okay. I'm getting sleepy, Zoe. It's okay, sweetie. You can go to sleep. I'm getting cold, too. Come here. Better? Yes. Will you stay with me? As long as you need me to, Faith. Even when I'm sleeping? Even when you're sleeping. I promise. Okay. Good night, Zoe. Good night, big sister. Good night, little sister. Goodbye, Faith. All right. I was about to say I thought that was the end of the game, but we'll just watch this little clip here. So 
Sam! Sam! Is that you? Oh, you must help me. There's only darkness. They stole my eyes, my ears. He took the world away from me. There's nothing left. Nothing. Do you hear me? Are you there? I need my senses back. Answer me. Answer me! Pets? Papa can't hear you. And he can't talk to you. Oh, pets. Pets? What are you? I'm sorry about this, Zoe, but I can't let you wake up again. Goodbye. You really are a very beautiful girl. So like your father. I never thought I'd see you again. And I wish it didn't have to end like this. You don't need to react to this. <laughs> so there it is. My story. It sounds pretty unbelievable, I know. Parts of it still feel like a dream to me. But it did happen. All of it. I helped send Faith on her way. The static is gone. Things are back to normal. All should be well with the world. Except it's not. At all. The bad guys got away with it. The dreamer could still be released. If that happens... I'm not sure how long I've been here, or how long I'm going to stay. But there's nothing more I can do now. My story's been told. The future is out of my hands. And in yours. You need to do something. You need to tell my story until the word is out. Until everyone knows what's going on. If you don't... I'm leaving soon. But I'm not afraid. If death is the end... I know that our dreams remain behind. So whoever you are, whatever you plan to do, good luck. I'm sure you'll need it. I hope my story has been heard. I'll feel really stupid if I find out I've been talking to myself this whole... Reza. Thank God. How is she? She's fading away. Careful, Dad. That is not him. Goodbye. All right, so that was one really, really long cutscene. Um, so I hope that you all enjoyed this game. Um, I'm pretty sure... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Still not the end. Okay. I have totally forgot what was the end of this game. Welcome to the story time, Zoe. Hello. Am I dead? I don't know. It doesn't matter here. This is where everything is. Here, you simply are. Alive or dead, you just are. Understand?
understand. No, but please go on. You are special, Zoe. I am? You are. You are a dreamer. Someone else told me that. Is that good? It is. And it isn't. There's nothing good or bad about it. Like the stars above and the stones below. It simply is. Oh. So, where are we again? In the story time. This is where the stories are told. The stories that create the sky and the ground and all that is in between. You see, Zoe, this universe and everything in it is like an endlessly thick book containing countless stories. That's amazing. Can you tell me one of those stories? I could, but not now. There's no time. We need to act before it's too late. You're here to tell me a story, Zoe. I am. You are. I see. What's happening? Why do we have to act? Because the undreaming is unchanged. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. So where do I begin? At the beginning, Zoe. At the beginning? It's going to be a long story. That's fine. Okay. My name is Zoe Castillo, and I think I might be dead. But I'm not sure. My father's name is Gabrielle. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the end. <laughs> oh my goodness, that seemed to go on forever. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this let's play. We're just gonna check that this is definitely the Nope. And finally, okay. today is the day everyone's been waiting for. Isn't that right, Ryan? <laughs> that's right, Diane. It's been a closely guarded secret for months, but today, Watikor finally unveils its hotly anticipated new product, Dreamtime. Fans have been lining up in front of stores for weeks in preparation for what some are calling the single greatest event in recorded history. Wow. If you didn't have to be here this morning, Ryan, I'm sure you'd be out there lining up with the rest of them. <laughs> you betcha, Diane. Watikor has yet to reveal what Dreamtime is all about, except that it's destined to change the face of entertainment forever. Wire rumors have it that Dreamtime will allow people to dream lucid dreams about anything they want. Isn't that something, Ryan? Modern technology. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You just gotta love it, Diane. <laughs> all right. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to stop assuming it's the end of the game now. And just, uh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game now. So I hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play. And I hope this makes the Dreamfall chapters um, make a little bit more sense to you guys. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye everyone. <laughs>